Good evening, this is News Mongolia. I'm Saltan Gortz in the Mimbi World Studio. For our top stories, Conference held for the 110th anniversary of the establishment of Mongolia's modern diplomatic service. Asahi received honorary title from Japanese Foreign Ministry. President of Mongolia, Hurusuk, pays an official visit to Russia. For other news, stay tuned. On the occasion of the 110th anniversary of the establishment and development of Mongolia's modern diplomatic service, the past, present, and future of Mongolia's foreign policy conference was held at the Ministry of Foreign Affairs. Foreign scholars, researchers, and officials took part in discussion on specific topics. We are organizing a scientific conference for the 110th anniversary of the establishment of diplomatic services in Mongolia. As you might remember, we organized a scientific conference for the 100th anniversary and studied the different epochs of Mongolia's foreign relations history. During today's scientific conference, we had discussions mainly touching on future policies in Mongolia's foreign policy. The conference touched on four main issues, including national security, foreign policy, the third neighbor policy, information technology, and its impact on foreign relations and the promotion of Mongolia abroad. Since the start of the 1990s, we have launched such concepts as third neighbors. I think we should continue supporting the policy and expanding cooperation with our third neighbors. The Japanese Ministry of Foreign Affairs delivered an honorary title to Mongolian-Japanese Youth Cooperation Support Center, also known as ASAHI. The ministry praised their contribution on strengthening ties between Japan and Mongolia. The Japanese Embassy in Mongolia has awarded the title. They noted that Mongolian-Japanese Youth Cooperation Support Center granted around 400 students with a scholarship to study in Japan. The center also contributed on building ties between Japanese and Mongolian entities and individuals, which is having a positive effect on relations between the two countries. The Japanese government extends its support to Mongolia according to Mongolia's strategic policy. If the Mongolian government requests for more collaboration in times to come, the Japanese side is ready to double their efforts. The Mongolian-Japanese Youth Cooperation Center is well known among youth for their scholarship programs, notably the Asahi Newspaper Scholarship. The director of the center says that young people have a tendency to rush coming into Japan first. <laughs> Students think that they will learn the language straight after coming to Japan. However, learning a language also means becoming familiar with the culture of the country. Therefore, when students get language training in their home country initially, it builds a strong foundation for their future life. The Japanese Ministry of Foreign Affairs has a tradition to honor organizations or individuals who have made a great contribution on foreign relations annually. The year 2022 will mark the fifth anniversary of diplomatic relations between Japan and Mongolia. As part of this event, student exchange programs between the two countries have been planned. The programs of the two countries will focus especially on the educational and cultural sectors. The Ministry of Health reported that 335 new COVID-19 cases were confirmed today and one person have died. The Ministry of Health today on December 15 has reported that 335 new COVID-19 cases were detected in the past 24 hours after tests were carried out at PCR laboratories across the country. Unfortunately, one man with underlying health conditions died of COVID-19 complications. All new cases except six were confirmed domestically, out of which 191 were confirmed in Ulaanbaatar and 138 were confirmed in the provinces, and the remaining six cases were imported. 2,792 COVID-19 patients being treated at hospitals nationwide. Additionally, 4,673 patients are being treated at home. Among the 2,792 COVID-19 patients being treated at hospitals nationwide, 1,008 are showing mild symptoms of illness and 52 are in critical condition. As of now, around 2.15 million people have had two doses of a COVID-19 vaccine and 25% of the population has received the booster shot so far. 
Now let's take a look at the currency exchange rates provided by Mongol Bank. Thank you for staying with us on MMB World. Now let's take a look at Mongolia's current affairs. President of Mongolia Hurusuk met with Ambassador of the Czech Republic to Mongolia, Jiri Brodsky, upon the conclusion of his mission in Mongolia. President Hurusuk praised his contribution to expanding traditional friendly relations between Mongolia and the Czech Republic in various fields, including economic and humanitarian exchange. During the pandemic, the first direct flight between Mongolia and the Czech Republic was conducted to repatriate of hundreds of Mongolians. The Order of the Pole Star was presented to Ambassador Brodsky in recognition of his contribution to the development of bilateral relations and cooperation. President of Mongolia Hurusuk met with the Ambassador Extraordinary and Plenipotentiary of the Republic of Cuba to Mongolia, George Alberto Ferrer Rodriguez. The president expressed his satisfaction with the successful development of traditionally friendly relations between the two countries over the past 60 years, and offered cooperation with Cuba in introducing new science, health and biotechnology know-how to Mongolia, and enhancing the skills of Mongolia's professionals in these fields. Ambassador Rodriguez expressed his commitment to expanding cooperation between the two countries. He noted that the Cuban government has been working to continue providing scholarships to Mongolian students. Cuba has been providing scholarships since 1963, and more than 140 Mongolian students have obtained higher education in Cuba, mainly in the medical and biotechnology sectors. President of Mongolia Hurusuk is paying an official visit to the Russian Federation on December 15th through 17th to mark the 100th anniversary of the establishment of diplomatic relations between Mongolia and Russia. During the visit, President Hurusuk will hold talks with Russian President Vladimir Putin and exchange views on a wide range of bilateral cooperation issues. During the visit, a joint declaration on the 100th anniversary of the establishment of diplomatic relations between Mongolia and the Russian Federation will be issued and a number of cooperation documents will be signed. Now let's take a look at the weather forecast for the world's major cities. This is it for today. Thank you for staying with us. We'll see you tomorrow with more news and updates. Have a nice evening. Goodbye.